Hey guys. So, so yesterday, I had one of the most amazing adventure um, I had in a while. Um, I met this girl who was traveling here for one day, and I was on my way to get a haircut. And yesterday, I was practicing um, allowing myself to feel sexual intense towards the girl. So I saw this girl. And the moment she turned around, the moment we say hi, I instantly had a realization, not like realize, I had an instinct that um, we were both going to end up together. And I was, my, I was very attracted to her and I was allowing myself to show that um, and my eyes were just like laser focused on her. I wasn't even consciously trying to do that, it, just, it was just that way. And... I could tell that she was into me as well. So I told her that's meet up after I got my haircut. And after and when we met up, we walk around. I showed her around, but I don't wanna be the tour guide or the friendly nice nice guy who would just show her around and not do anything. So um uh, about ten minutes into the conversation I start holding her hand. Uh she wasn't that into it. She was kind of like, uh, -huh. uh, is this normal? Blah, blah, blah. Cause she's a tourist. And uh, she wondered what the local dating culture is like. And I told her, oh, I just want to hold, hold your hand. I just feel like that. And I didn't apologize. I was ashamed, but at the same time, I wasn't too aggressive. I know how to calibrate. And that was, and that was okay. We just kept talking, kept vibing. And I showed her around the campus. I was gonna. I thought we were just gonna grab coffee, but I decided that uh, walking around was probably probably a better choice. So we walked around, and we found a place to sit, and we started talking about, you know, our first kiss, um, first time we had sex. Uh, it's been a very sexual talk, and. I thought I thought an hour and a half may have passed, but I was wrong. It actually, it was about less than an hour. It feels more feels like more than that. I don't know. At least day, my sense of time is very distorted. It's distorted. So I decided to pull her, invited her home, and she was not very sure because you know uh, we just met, blah blah blah, and on our way, and on our way to my place, uh, she said, oh, "I'm not sure about this." And I say, okay, no pressure. Uh, if you don't want to come, that's fine. Don't have to go. And so we changed our plans. I uh, decided to show her around. And at first she was taking a photo. And then she came to me and said, you know, um, you don't have to show me around if you got other things to do. Now at that moment, I feel like she was blowing me off. But um, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to give up like that because I knew something was special about this girl i i just knew it and it would really i'll be very not disappointed i'll be very it would be very wrong for me to just give up like that so i told her no you know what today's my day off and i like you you know what let's let's keep going and so i show her the library <laughs> i don't know why she wanted to go to the library and uh we kept walking and it was getting dark, so I told her, you know what, let's buy some, let's go to the supermarket and buy some food and cook. And she was like, oh, where are we going to cook? I said, like, oh, my my place. I was like, yeah, no big deal. Well, what can you cook? I don't just like, my place, then stop right there. I kept talking, like, yeah, my place, uh, what do you cook? And I got her to show me how to do egg rolls, Japanese egg rolls. And the shopping was fun, and there were there were definitely definitely a lot of um, shit tests where she which where, where she said, oh you know what we can't find it we can't find the ingredient let's let's just go home let's just go somewhere else or eat out it was like no we can't give out like that in a very playful way and in the end we did find the ingredients it was like you know what you should learn this lesson today you know don't give up don't ever give up. I was like jokingly, jokingly telling her. So anyway, we get to our place. Um, we 
at first we hang out in my room. Uh, I didn't really escalate that much because I feel like she was very nervous when we tried when I tried to hold her hand. And after that, I I did I think I did try to kiss her, but um, she was like backing off a bit. I was like, okay. I mean, she did let me kiss her, and when I did kiss her, she she was kind of into it, but. I feel like her logical mind was like, uh, this is too fast, blah, blah, blah. Then, um, then when we were cooking and you know, after like hanging out for probably another hour or so, um, we're starting to have more comfort. And I remember at first she was very reluctant to come into my room. So I just leave the door open and it's kind of chill for a bit. And told her that, because um, we were talking about YouTube video, so I just kind of like tell her, hey, is this a YouTube video you were talking about? And she just kind of had to come in. I told her to take off her shoes, you know, be polite and shit. And she did, and she did, and she took. And when we were, when, and after some, after we get to know each other more, um, she took off her. And we were about to go downstairs and cook. She asked me, um, should we eat downstairs or should we uh, eat in my room? And I said, oh, let's just eat my room and leave your bag here. And at that moment, I knew um, that there was enough comfort. Um, so we were cooking and didn't really talk that much because I feel like it's a natural silent in an interaction that you should be comfortable with. Um, just like when you hang out with a friend, you don't fucking talk all the time. But we were talking, talking. Oh, well, sorry, we weren't talking. We were just kind of enjoying the silence and you know, making jokes here and there. And it was it was pretty fun. And kind of the tension was building up for sure. Anyway, we cooked for a bit and I was trying out her food and she was eating it. And I kind of just leaned in and grab her by the waist and pull her in and kiss her and she, she kind of like um, uh, I told her it tastes very good and she was kind of laughing and like uh, and she said oh that was very sneaky like teasing me I said yeah <laughs> um, then we ate in my room and I tried to kiss her a few more times but she tried to back off a bit and I remember around 9.30 ish um, she wouldn't let me, she was backing off. I think I was too aggressive then. And, um, then she told me she has to go home. Um, at first I thought, okay, you can go. But then I realized she was really going to go. And I said, oh, fuck. I can't just, um, I thought I can't just let this end right now. That would be so sad. That would be... I mean, I was didn't really have any outcome in mind, but I was, I was gonna play to win. I I know it's gonna be a win-win for both her and me. So I was coming from a place of win-win and offering value. So I told her, um, I would really want you to stay because with such a good connection. But if you want to go, you can go. And she thought about it and she said, uh, why don't you come to my why don't you come to my hotel? And I thought about it. I was like, that is a fucking clear sign of interest. Uh, if you, And all I have to do from now on is just go with her and be cool, just chill until she's going to sleep and people feel horny before they sleep and we're going to fuck. And that's exactly what happened. Um, it was just like that. We, I walk her to her hotel and we chilled there for minutes. I mean, she was taking ages with uh, her shower and she was planning her trip tomorrow. So I was kind of like, I was kind of just doing my own thing and asking her what she's going to do as well. And I realized that I actually enjoyed it. I was very self amused and we had a great night. Um, and the next morning, um, Everything changes. We become so close together, and I just feel so sad that she has to go. I mean, it it hasn't even been twenty four hours since we met, and I just feel kind of sad because on one hand, you could label as a one night stand, um, 
But I feel like every kind of one night stand I have, they all feel more than that. I mean, this is during daytime, daytimes. But if it's like a nighttime thing, then it's kind of different, you know. But yeah, that was it uh, from yesterday. It kind of broke my dry spell as well for like two months or something. Um, although I didn't really notice it was two months until I look back today. It's like, oh shit, it was been two months. And um, I today I just really was a I was just trying to focus on the work I had during the day and, and try not to think about her. It was very hard because um, she's the type of girl that I always thought I couldn't get back then, but now I actually got with her. I realized, you know, it's fun, but um, it's a lesson. I reckon it's a good lesson because if she had stayed, I probably would have settled for her, but I know that I could be getting better and better and better. And just like, just look at where I am right now. It's fucking awesome. And I realized there's no reason to be depressed about her leaving because that is just a way, a step forward in your life anyway short video today hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time